Hello, welcome to On Blast with MG. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect steak in your house using just your broiler. That's it. So for all y'all who don't know what a broiler is, this is your oven temperature knob. If you turn it all the way to the end, you got the broil function. In fact, this is what you got to do the first thing you're going to do. So you're going to turn it on. Before you even before you even season your steak, you gotta turn this on to broil, and you gotta let it heat up for about uh, let's say at least 15 minutes. The broiler itself is all the way down the bottom of your stove, and it's basically it's an open flame, so it will cook your steak with an open flame from the very top, just like that. You see it going on right now. So this is going to get nice and heated up and then when you put your steak in there it's going to cook over basically over an open flame in this case under an open flame all right so let's get the steak seasoned up all right the steak itself is about an inch thick uh, angus beef and you can season it however you like it but for me i just use kosher salt and fresh ground pepper so really nice steak so it, it just really deserves, you know, simple ingredients. So let's just do some uh, kosher salt and pepper. Go liberal with the salt, you know. You all, always want to get enough salt on there. Not too much, obviously, but enough. Same with the pepper. You get pretty liberal with it. All right, that's the top side. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, there we go. We got the second side nice and nice and seasoned. Just salt and pepper. Now for you guys who want to know how to pick a good steak, give you a clue. I want to look at the marbleization. That's the white fat in in intermix with the red flesh of the meat. If you got a, if you got a good mixture of the white with the red, it's called marble marbleized and it's a good sign that the steak is um, it's going to taste pretty well, you know, it's going to it's going to cook well. Some of those fats are going to melt into into the meat itself and it's going to be nice and juicy and tasty. The less fat it has, you know, the more lean it is. So it's, it's not going to taste as good. But to each their own. And uh, whatever you can get, you can get. So just get what you can. What I like to do as, after this has been sitting out for about 20 minutes while the broiler is getting nice and, nice and hot, I like to transfer my steak from the plate over to a cast iron skillet. And then we're going to take the skillet and we're going to stick it right in the broiler. All right, ladies and gents, so we've warmed the broiler for about 20 minutes. The steak has been seasoned with uh, salt and pepper, so it's a pretty plain seasoning. You know, if you have a good good chunk of meat, you just want to keep it simple or just do what you want. You know, sometimes I like to put a little bit of slap your mama seasoning. Sometimes I just do something else. But in this case, it's a pretty decent steak, so we're going to do just salt and pepper. All right, so the steak is about, like I said, about one inch thick. If you're gonna do it in the broiler, like I'm showing you, you're gonna probably wanna do it for about five minutes and 30 seconds on each side, so a total of 11 minutes. And that will give you about a medium doneness to the steak, okay? Uh, if you like it less so, then you could use less time. If you like it more so, you could use a little bit more time, but about Five minutes and 30 seconds per side is what I'm going to do for this one. So let's see how it comes out at that. And uh, so let's go ahead and put it in. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your steak down. You're going to open your broiler. You're going to put your steak right underneath there. And then you're just going to let it go and start your timer. All right. So this is the halfway time. Let's see here. Open the broiler. We're gonna take this out. Look at the beautiful color on that. The halfway point, we're just going to flip it right now. All right, a simple flip. And then we're gonna stick it right back in the broiler for another five and a half minutes. All right, just like that. Voila, back in it. All right, so after the second five minutes and 30 seconds on the second side, we're gonna get that out of the oven or out of the broiler. 
Oh, look at that beautiful color. Then we're going to transfer that to a cold, nice cold plate. And we're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes. Maybe even 20 minutes resting. I mean, generally I go between 10 and 20 minutes, so about 15 minutes just letting it rest. And uh, so if you cut it in too quickly, you know, juices are going to run out. But uh, letting it rest for about 15, 20 minutes, it's going to get it nice and keep all the juices in and get it ready for you. So get yourself a nice sharp knife to get ready for cutting into steak. And then maybe get yourself a second aside. In my case, mac and cheese. Maybe some greens too, like a tomato salad, and you got yourself a real good meal. All right, so let's, we're going to take a look once we cut into it and see how it looks. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes cutting into it you can see it's nice and pink on the inside just how I like it it's not bleeding you know obviously do less time if you want a little bit um, less you know, a little bit more um, raw but it's just perfect for me so adjust it how you like and bone up it eat